Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I wanna talk about the recent Bitcoin price movement and what that could mean for you know blockchain technology moving forward and mass adoption of blockchain technology in general. All right, so before I get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And as always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, so let's talk about the recent Bitcoin price, right? We're up to, you know, $8,000. This is over twice uh, the low price in 2019 already. You know, we're at, a, we're at an all-time high for 2019. And, you know, I don't want to sit here and speculate about what the Bitcoin price is going to do. That's not the purpose of this video, not the purpose of my YouTube channel at all, right? I don't claim to know what the future is. If you want to go find that out, you can look at lots of other YouTube channels that talk about exactly what the Bitcoin price is going to be on some date. That's not why I'm making this video, okay? I really want to talk about you know, this catching my attention and catching other people's attention and why that's so important and why it's so critical for the adoption of blockchain technology and break that down in detail in this video, okay? So, you know, I've talked about on this channel before that I got into blockchain technology by watching cryptocurrency prices, right? I mean, I watched the Bitcoin price skyrocket from, you know, really low price and that's what got my attention about blockchain in the first place, right? I was a self-taught programmer, you know, I've been in tech for a while and I saw Bitcoin and I got really interested in the technology because I saw the price initially, right? I don't want you to think it's like a bad thing to care about cryptocurrency prices. You can. You can invest in crypto. I mean, I own Bitcoin, you know, full disclosure. I'm not just trying to shill the tech so that the price goes up, right? It's not my only hope <laughs> for making any money, right? And if you're a programmer, it's not your only hope for making any money either, right? You can invest in the technology and that's probably a better bet for you and that's why this channel is here to give you a resource to do that, okay? But why is the Bitcoin price so important? Well, it gets people's attention and it teaches them about blockchain technology. That's really what's important, right? It taught me about blockchain technology and it's gotten a lot of other people into the space in general, right? So once they learn about cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency prices, it gives them the opportunity to, you know, figure out why does it work that way, right? And this is really for programmers. And that's why it's important to get programmers' attention, which I'll talk about that in a minute. And it doesn't necessarily do that so much for consumers or end users who are going to actually use the blockchain, right? Now, some of those people might, you know, get curious and want to know how blockchains work, but most of them won't really care that much, okay? So for programmers, mostly analytical and creative people, you know, when they see the Bitcoin price go up and they say, well, why is it even worth anything? How does Bitcoin work? How does blockchain work? You know, they start asking those kinds of questions and that gets them to the point where they, you know, kind of get behind the tech and say, oh, how does this work? How could you actually create a currency, you know, run by computers digitally, right? And that's when it becomes this mind virus that sort of takes over and it converts a lot of people into blockchain programmers, whether it's just as a hobby or ends up being, you know, part of their career, right? That's exactly what it did for me. And the more time that you know the Bitcoin price goes up and we see these big spikes in crypto prices, the more people are going to come into the space. And that's what we really care about from a developer's point of view, right? If we're going to move the blockchain space along, we need more developer talent in the mix, right? We need more people coming on board to solve the problems that we need to solve in order to reach mass adoption of blockchain technology, right? And there's so much you know, work that needs to be done and we need people here, right? I talk a lot on this channel about how the demand is outpacing the supply. We need people to actually fill the supply of blockchain developers and that can actually increase the demand, right? Because the more technology gets built, the more demand there's gonna be for people to maintain it and build new features on top of it and stuff like that, right? And the more stuff we bring to a market, you know, consumers are gonna to get to use it and then the more consumers use it, it's just sort of this self-perpetuating cycle, right? And as that cycle increases, you know, the more we can get people in here to bring products to end users, then the more they'll want it and the more blockchain technology will start to snowball and become, you know, wider and wider used. Right. And that's why it's so important for developers to get involved, right? And it's not so important for consumers, right, to actually get in and learn about the tech. They don't necessarily care that much about how blockchains work. I mean, some of them do, but on the whole, most people aren't really gonna care. Like, does, does anyone ever ask, how does email work, right? All they care about is that they receive a message digitally, right? They don't care about the protocol, they don't care about any of that stuff, right? They just know that it, it, it does something, that it can cause them to be programmers and learn how to build you know, email clients, right? So they don't care. So the prices isn't quite so as important for them, right? 
And I want to talk about this a little bit about how, you know, I can see blockchain mass adoption happening, right? The end user doesn't necessarily need to know they're using a blockchain. I've talked about this in some of my other videos where I see, you know, blockchain mass adoption, you know, looking like somewhat of a trade-off where we basically use blockchains for what they're actually good at. And we let other parts of, you know, applications be run by, you know, technology that does that specific job better. So like, you know, some people think that we're going to have a future that's completely decentralized where we won't have web servers, everything's going to be run by blockchains and smart contracts and, you know, IPFS. And I think that actually can happen, but it's probably going to just be only if there's demand for it. Okay. And I think the demand is going to be in smaller niche use cases, right? It's like people who only want to use encrypted email. Well, people who only want to use encrypted email are doing that and they do it in very specialized use cases. But for people who want, you know, uh, other types of email, they're willing to sacrifice the security for convenience, right? I think the same thing is for mass adoption of blockchain technology. We're going to probably see hybridized applications that use the blockchain where they need it. And we're still going to have web servers that, you know, run really fast, right? We're still going to have other things uh, that, you know, benefit end users because the businesses want to be competitive and give users what they want, okay? So that's what I think mass adoption could look like for blockchain technology. And that's why the Bitcoin price isn't quite so important for them to come in and use the blockchain because they don't necessarily need to know that they're using the blockchain when they use a blockchain application. So another reason the Bitcoin price is so important is that it just reminds everybody that blockchain is a thing, that it's not dead, that it's here to stay, right? And it's funny that we need price to remind us of this, but that's just kind of the world we live in. Um, it's somewhat superficial, but it works, right? Whenever the Bitcoin price goes up, people magically have faith in blockchain blockchain again. And that's just kind of how our brains work. That's how people are wired. But it reminds people that blockchain is a thing that keeps it on their radar, right? And always like, you know, generates this flood and wave of interest that seems to kind of give blockchain, you know, a little bit of a boost and it kind of kicks it along the next step. And I think this is really important to kind of preserve the momentum a little bit because we weren't that far away from the last all-time high, right? You know, I think the last all-time high was in December of 2017. That was less than a year and a half ago at the time of making this video. And there's a lot of people who have left the space completely because they lost money or they just got, you know, uh, uninterested in a, in a bear market and something like that. And But a year and a half ago is, is long enough for our memories like to not completely erase and for that to still be there in people's minds, right? So I think, you know, it's good that we're seeing some price movement now because it reminds people that knew about it before and are just kind of coming back to it, right? It'll catch their attention again. It's not just going to bring in new people who are only hearing about it for the first time. It's going to remind people who heard about it once, lost interest, and can get back into it now. You know, in addition to the Bitcoin price moving, you know, we've seen uh, some good action on the Ethereum price or Ether, right? And I like this a lot because it causes people to, you know, ask questions about Ethereum and what it's there for and what, you know, purposes it accomplishes. And so I really like this because, you know, when people are doing fundamental analysis on cryptocurrencies, they're going to look at a project like Ethereum and say, you know, why is this here? What is Ether? What's it for? And hopefully that will cause more people to get behind that technology as well. And the more people that know about it, the greater chance that it's going to, you know, succeed in the long run, right? So that's also really good that we've seen Ethereum price move in addition to Bitcoin. All right. So that is my thought on the current Bitcoin price action, why I think it's a really great thing. You know, regardless of whether you invest in cryptocurrency or not, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy Bitcoin. I'm not even making a guess at what the Bitcoin price is going to be anytime soon, right? Like I said, at the beginning of this video, the Bitcoin price could be way back down to, you know, $200 for all I know by the time this video actually comes out. But it catches people's attention. That's the point I'm trying to make. And that's really important, right? For people to learn about blockchain technology, for the tech itself to move on, right? And that's what I talk about a lot in this channel is that you should be investing in the technology, especially if you're a programmer. All right, so I hope you all like this video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And if you want to learn how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, till next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.